Earth may look like it's made of solid rock, but deep underground is a different story. Temperatures beneath Earth's crust are hot enough to melt rock. This molten rock oozes and squeezes out of cracks in the crust. It erupts out of volcanoes, cools and hardens back into rock. When this happens, an igneous rock is formed. Igneous rocks can start as sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, or other igneous rocks. These rocks are pushed deep beneath Earth's surface, where the temperature is extremely hot. When rock reaches temperatures of around 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit, 600 degrees Celsius, it melts into a molten liquid substance called magma. Sometimes magma cools while it's still underground. Magma usually cools very slowly underground because it's still quite hot. When this happens, the melted minerals crystallize, creating shiny flecks in the rock. This type of igneous rock is called an intrusive igneous rock because it forms inside the earth. Granite is an example of an intrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rocks form at the surface of earth. Magma is forced out through a volcano or at a divergent fault line where tectonic plates are separating. When magma reaches Earth's surface, it is called lava. Lava cools and hardens very quickly, too quickly for large crystals to form. Extrusive igneous rocks are usually smooth and shiny, like basalt and obsidian. Sometimes lava has a lot of water and gas bubbles in it. When this lava cools, the gas bubbles escape, leaving behind holes in the rock, kind of like a sponge. This type of extrusive igneous rock is called pumice. Most of Earth's crust is made of igneous rocks. They were the first rocks to form on Earth. They're also some of the oldest rocks. From strong, sturdy granite to smooth, glassy obsidian, igneous rocks can teach us a lot about how our planet formed. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.